where you want it. Bay 12, please. Hello there Transformers fans and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review and today we have another Rise of the Beasts character from the upcoming film Transformers Rise of the Beasts. So here is the new studio series TerrorCon Frenzy, the first of this new faction to make the leap to the big screen and I gotta say I am really looking forward to whatever these guys end up being. Now. They, of course, are the new antagonistic faction. Um, it doesn't seem as though they're going to be very affiliated with the Decepticons or not, considering their leader, Scourge, has some Decepticon emblem trophies on the front of his grill in his truck mode, alongside of some Autobot and Maximal trophies. But curiously enough, no Predacon trophies. Either... Paramount and Hasbro have been very, very tight-lidded on the Predacons as a faction appearing in this movie, or there's going to be no appearance of them whatsoever. But hopefully, at the very least, there may be some mention of them. Hopefully. Anyway, we'll see whenever the movie comes out. But for now, here is Freezer. I think I said Frenzy earlier. Anyway, here is Freezer, and he looks awesome. So first things first, we got some cool artwork of him right there up at the top of the card. There is the figure itself. There's that cool new TerrorCon insignia, which looks like Scourge's face. On the back, we see his robot and alt mode. So it looks like he is going to be some kind of target or weaponizer type character. He transforms into a cannon for the larger Terracons to wield, as well as a cannon emplacement. So he has a regular little cannon mode, as well as a cannon to be wielded by other characters, which is pretty cool. I dig that. And that is pretty much it for the packaging. And here is Freezer right out of the box. And again, he looks awesome. I really love this design. Now, of course, like a lot of other fans, his design very much reminds me of Frenzy from the first 2007 live action Transformers film. Again, this is not set in that universe. This is a sequel to the film Bumblebee, which was a soft reboot to the live action franchise. Regardless, he looks awesome. I dig this design. Now, seeing this figure in person, I really, really hope that Frenzy gets the core class treatment, much like this dude does, because he looks cool. I don't care what they make Frenzy transform into particularly. It'd be cool if they somehow work it in there to where he can have a boombox mode, much like the one he has in his first appearance in the Transformers film. But honestly, I'll settle for anything at this point, even a non-transforming, fully articulated figure much like this. I, I would just be happy to have an updated Frenzy. For comparison, though, I do have what is currently the best mass retail release of Frenzy, the Human Alliance Frenzy that came with the Human Alliance Barricade figure. Now, this figure does have some decent articulation, and as you can see for size, Freezer is a good amount bigger than Frenzy. Now, this is still a good Frenzy figure, doesn't transform really at all. He kind of folds up to fit into the barricade chest cavity slash front of his vehicle mode. And, of course, he can sit into the driver or passenger seat of the barricade figure. But, again, it would just be cool to get a core class treatment for this figure. Will he be perfectly in scale? Not quite, no. But it'd be nice just to have one that's a little bit bigger with a little bit better detail and articulation, much like this figure right here. Now, his backdrop is the skeleton of a T-Rex in what appears to be some kind of museum. So maybe there's going to be some kind of chase scene where he's chasing maybe the human characters in a museum at some point, much like Alice in chasing Sam and friends in Revenge of the Fallen in the library of the of the college campus Sam was attending. Enough speculation on that. Here he is. He looks awesome, like I said. I love that face sculpt. That face design looks so cool. And I like the the notes of rust all over this character too. I like how he's not a clean looking terror con he is all dirty and gritty he's got that really gnarly face sculpt he's got four individually articulated arms which is really cool 
Uh, shoulders are on a ball joint, elbows are on a ball joint, nothing at the wrist for both arms. Hips are on a ball joint, you've got these rear knee joints on a ball joint, and ankles are also on a ball joint. Head is on a ball joint, and then you have this up and down neck joint, mostly due to transformation, and that's pretty much for his articulation. Now he does have two alt modes. Now his gun mode is very similar to his cannon mode, um, the main difference being that one, it looks like it's just a weapon emplacement where he just gets down into his little cannon mode and just fires from wherever he stands. The other is to be wielded by larger bots. So I, I'm kind of hoping we actually get to see that feature in film where Battletrap, Nightbird, or even Scourge pick him up and start wielding him against the Autobots and Maximals. Transformation is real simple. We're going to pull up on that head right there, just bring that neck joint all the way up and straighten that head out. Pull open that back panel there and bring up this section. And then we're going to fold out that barrel, bring that section all the way up and then close that down. Next thing we are going to do is come over here to the legs. We are going to tab that section into the back of the leg there and then in between that toe gap, we're just going to secure that foot into place by tabbing that section in as well. Do the same thing over here, tab that in, and then we're just going to kind of straighten out the legs as much as we can for right now and keep them out of the way while we do the arms. We're going to do the cannon mode first, so what we do for that is bring the arms down, like so, rotate on the elbow this arm right here, and then this little tab is going to peg into that little slot on the back of his other elbow. Do the same thing over here, rotate that around. Tab that in. And his arms become the legs or quad pod of his little cannon mode there. And then for the rest of his cannon mode, you just kind of have his legs hanging out the back. Um, it's not very clear as to what to do with them. They don't peg together really in any way. They just kind of set hanging out the back like so. So really not the coolest for his legs. You can of course always bring them down if you like and sure that might look a little bit better. At least his legs are tucked in or at least you kind of did something with them. I, I do kind of prefer that look over the legs just kind of hanging out the back, doing nothing or whatever else. Now converting him in his gun mode from his little turret mode here is pretty simple. So we're gonna bring those legs back out this way over here. Then we are going to untab the arms from each other and rotate the other elbow all the way around. And then this little tab right here is gonna tab into the side of his thigh. So we're gonna do that like so. Do the same thing over here, rotate that around, tab that into the side of his thigh right there, like so. And then we're going to rotate on that elbow again for the other arms. And there's a little tab right here on the side of the wrist, and that's going to tab in just below the elbow on the forearm of the other arm, like so. Take that around tab in place. And then the last step is to come down right here. There is a handle in the back of his torso. We're going to flip that down and then he can be held and wielded by the larger terror cons. And his gun mode looks really cool. It looks really cool. Can't wait to see again if he actually does transform into a gun for one of the larger bots. Supposedly he's supposed to be the gun for Scourge, but like I said, we won't know until we see the movie and that's not until June. So stay tuned and hopefully it's as awesome as it looks. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into today's review featuring the Transformers TerrorCon Freezer from the upcoming film, Rise of the Beasts in the Studio Series. Another awesome figure, regardless of how the film turns out, I really do like this figure. And again, I really hope that Frenzy gets a similar treatment in the Studio Series line in the core class sometime in the near future. But stay tuned, because as soon as Hasbro announces such a thing, you'll know when we know. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow us on social media. Check out some of our other content, as well as the wide variety of non-Transformers reviews that we do here on Bay 12. And 
in case you're local or visiting in town, come check us out inside the shops at Willoughby Mall in Plano, Texas, inside Order 66 Multiverse. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Transform and roll out. Game over, man. Game over.